Hi guys, welcome to DJM TV Daily News Update, your one-stop channel for everything news and gist happening in Nigeria and all over the world. If this is your first time of seeing any of our videos, big thumbs up to you. Do go a step further, like this video, share, subscribe if you've not done so, and turn on the notification bell. So you'll be one of the first persons to get notified whenever we drop a new video. Now let's take you straight up into the main news. Forget about presidency till 2031. Pan Niger Delta Forum told the Northern politicians. The Pan Niger Delta Forum have said that the Northern region should forget about contesting for presidency in 2023 for the purpose of peace, equity, and justice. Speaking through its publicity secretary. Ken Robinson, the Pan Niger Delta Forum said that everybody has the right to participate in governance, to vote and to be voted for. And as such, Northern politicians who are seeking presidential ticket in, in 2023 should forget about it and rethink about the idea in 2031. Ken Robinson also said that the need to uphold the indispensable principles of equity, fairness, and justice is very necessary for the sake of what he says is national harmony and peace. He said this in a statement which he issued in Port Harcourt, the capital of Cross River State. He noted with that without fairness, equity and justice, there will be no overall peace in the country. He said in a statement that it is unthinkable that a Northerner will want to contest for presidency in 2023 after President Muhammadu Buhari, who is also from the North, has ended his two-year tenure of eight years altogether. Now, in his statement and his words, Ken Robinson said, we consider declarations by some individuals and groups now suddenly opposing the Eastern parties of rotational zoning of political offices, particularly that of the presidency, as unpatriotic and self-serving. Adding that given the multifaceted heterogeneity of our country, Nigerians should be critically concerned not only about the credibility and competence of those aspiring to occupy the highest office, but also where they come from. He added that we must consciously ensure that zoning, especially for the office of president and governors, is well maintained. Adding that there is no zone in the country that lacks men and women of noble character who can occupy the seat of presidency. To say suddenly, only in 2021, that the presidency should be open to all zones in 2023 amounts to moving the goalpost in the 87th of the 90-minute game implying that somebody from Dara Castina State can again become the president of Nigeria in 2023 within the present mood of the country. Pandev says big no to such an attempt to worsen the current bad trend of national cohesion, unity and all-round prosperity. Ken Robinson also speaking said that the North would have completed its stationary eight years by 2023. It is therefore only reasonable and fair that power should rotate to the south, as has been the case for 22 years of the Third Republic. Whether the person would emerge from the south-south, southeast, or southwest is a matter of different configurations entirely. Ken Robinson speaking said, Northerners who hunger to become presidents should wait till 2031. Political stakeholders need to demonstrate present honorable and patriotic etiquette of civility to whittle down the thick tensions arising from the all-round dissensions and alleviate the pains, sufferings and unpleasant conditions that the vast majority of the citizens are facing. 
Mr. Ken Robinson also added that everyone has the right to take part in the governance of his or a country and it is equally fundamental to uphold the indispensable principles of fairness, equity and justice. He said that nature abhors injustice. The sun does not rise in the east and set in the east. So Pandev, through its publicity secretary, is calling for rotational position that the presidency in 2023 should be rotated by all political parties to the south. Now, if the candidate is to emerge from either the southeast, the southwest, or the south-south, that would be within the people from the south and that it will be very unfair to say that presidency is now open to all meaning according to his words that somebody from dara in castina state or somebody from the north again can become president in 2023 this is still djm tv daily news update now guys our ken robbins is speaking on behalf of the pan ninja delta uh, forum pandev has said that all politicians from the north who are considering running for presidency in 2023 should just forget about it because the north has done eight years and now it is the time for the south to do eight years so when the south completes its eight years that will uh, be in 2031 the north can again start vying for the position position of president in the country it is very unfair to a certain region of the country that only one part of the country wishes to produce a president for the next 16 years and that this is just the height of injustice. The pan Niger Delta Forum is not the only one calling that the presidency should be rotated as against the open shake that has been given that anyone can become president, any region can become president. Nigerians have also reacted to the news. They have said this is very unfair and this is the height of injustice in the country. That this could lead to chaos come 2023 as the south is saying they wish to produce a president and the north is saying they cannot be second class citizens in the country and they have the voting power and all of that a lot of people have called out the northern kakus for saying that they cannot be second class citizens so if they are the first class citizen then who is the second class citizen in the country now both the PDP and the APC have been debating about this back and front because they are the main party, the All Progressive Congress being the main party, while the People's Democratic Party being the main opposition party. Now, a lot of Nigerians are hoping that the political parties will go back on their decision to keep uh, the presidential ticket open to all although the people's democratic party is leading in that uh, aspect as they have you know, chosen their uh, party chairman from the north meaning the party presidential flag bearer may be coming from the south there is a 90 percent probability that the presidential flag bearer for the people's democratic party will be coming from the south particularly the southeast although there are people from the southwest in the all progressive congress who have shown interest in the presidency and a lot of them are being coerced into contesting for presidency. We have the likes of Asiwajit Abola Ahmed Tinubu, and we have the likes of Professor Yemi Osibanjo, who they are trying to convince to run for presidency come 2023. So guys, what are your thoughts and comments concerning what the Pan Niger Delta Forum said that the North should forget about presidency still 2023? Drop your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Do not forget, to like this video, share and comment on this video. Also, follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, on Facebook and on YouTube. Also, subscribe, follow and turn on the notification bell. And you know, you can place your advert here with us at DJ TV and be ready to show up that your business will be on the desired market. So yeah, come away again with another exciting edition of DJ TV Daily News Update. I remain your host.
doesn't know they don't like us. Welcome to DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. Some of the delegates are as the choice. DJ TV. Thank you.